Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. 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 Uh, okay, we have to study, right? So, give me a second, I'm going to change this. Okay, today is Thursday. Today is nuestra última clase de la semana, pero no podemos perder that. Today is Thursday. Lástima, nice. mañana. Mañana hubiese jugado. Okay. Mañana que descansamos. <laughs> Bueno, cuénteme, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Ya llegaron hasta el examen. Eh, today is the due day. Hoy es el día, ¿verdad? Para terminar la sección 1, sección 2 y sección 3. Y hacer el examen. Y hacer el midterm. ¿Ya lo hicieron? ¿Quién ya lo realizó? Ya voy por la 4. Ah, ok. Johnny, congratulations. Hoy, hoy, finalicé la, hoy finalicé la sección 3. Ah, ok, excelente. Bueno, des, después de la clase entonces puede hacer el midterm. Ya estuvo. Ya estuvo también, ok, excelente. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Ok, ya nos sacamos ese día entonces. Perfecto. Ok, ¿alguien más le hace falta todavía llegar hasta el midterm? En mi caso, teacher, era el más atrasado y creo que ya logré llegar hasta la 4 ya. Ah, ok, excellent. Very good. So, continue working in that way. But anyway, we are going to see the midterm exam tonight. Just a second. Ok, vamos a revisar el meter exam. Just give me a second. I'm going to share my screen with you. So let me know, please, if you can see it. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. So yes. let's, ok. So in the meter exam, we have been evaluating section one, section two, and section three. Some topic with we studied in this section. Los temas que estudiamos en estas tres secciones. And the meter in this case has six questions. It has six questions. We are going to see them. So look at this. In the first part, the instructions are the following. Complete the conversation. Select the verb be or have in each case. Tenemos que escoger, ¿verdad? El verbo to be o el verbo have in each case. So, let's see this. That is not the first part. That is the last one. This is the first part. Listening. ¿Tuvieron problemas con el listening? It was easy or difficult? It's easy. You see? Okay. You see. You see. Yes. Okay. Yo sí tuve problemas cuando hice eso, pero no le podía dar play. Pero me fui a la flechita que aparece arriba y ahí sí, no sé por qué razón, sí me funcionó. Ah, okay. So let's try it. Sí, allí no me funcionaba. ¿Pueden escucharlo? No. 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 Just, just a second. I'm going to shake. Te vamos a poner acá. Not going to be able to listen this, I'm sure. Okay. 
One. Good evening. I... Hello, good evening. Ahora sí pueden escuchar. Yes, we love our new house. Yes, yes. Okay, let's listen to this. One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house. But I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. Okay, how many bathrooms are there? How many bathrooms are there in the new house? Three. 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 Three, there are three bedrooms. Hay tres dormitorios. Bathrooms. Lograron escuchar cuántos baños? Three. Three bathrooms. Three. Okay, listen. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, good evening. Just a moment. Que pueden apagar sus micrófonos, por favor. Can you please turn off your microphones? Ok. Pues estoy escuchando la narración del partido. Me dan ganas de ir a ver. <laughs> so, please. So, let's see. In this part, she said that there are three bedrooms and there are two bathrooms. And she needs some furniture. Necesita algunos muebles, son furniture. So let's see, ¿qué hay en la sala? ¿Qué tiene en la sala? ¿Un sofa o chairs? ¿Sofa o chairs? Chairs. Chairs, right. Son chairs. And then the other question is, Julia needs. She needs, what does she need for the kitchen? ¿Qué necesita para la cocina? Un microondas. She, she needs a microwave oven. Ok. ¿Y cómo lo consiguió o cómo lo va a conseguir? Su amigo se lo va a... Ah, ok. Excelente. No Su amigo tiene uno y no lo usa. Entonces se lo va a regalar. So in this listening part, you have to choose the correct answer to complete it. There are and there is. There are and there is in this part. So in the second part, you have to complete the conversation. Tiene que completar esta conversación utilizando el presente. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to turn off your microphone. I'm so sorry. Okay, you have to use the simple present to complete the conversation. Vamos a ir completando las preguntas de esta conversación buscando la forma correcta. Del ¿vale? simple present, question, yes, no question. So you have two conversation in this part. ¿Tuvieron problemas en esta parte o no han llegado todavía? No. No problems. No problems. Then let's see the other exercise. In exercise number three, you have to unscramble the sentences. Usted tiene que ordenar ¿verdad? las oraciones y escribirlas en el orden correcto. Las palabras en el orden correcto. Utilizando there is and there is and there are. Three questions. You have three questions at this part. Let's see this. In this part, you have to select the correct word for each sentence. Uh, words in a hospital. 
talks to people yeah. at a hotel. Then sits all day. Estas lo vimos hace poquito, ¿verdad? Este tema. So, do you have any problem with this? Problem. No problem. So, places at work. Trabajo. Los lugares donde trabajan las personas. The hospital, hotel. In activities too. In this, in exercise. Y, o ejercicio número cinco. Lo que tenemos que hacer es lo siguiente. Select. Questions to complete the conversation. Look at the example. Tenemos que ir seleccionando, ¿verdad? Las preguntas para ir completando. Tenemos la respuesta. Necesitamos la pregunta. And we, has, we already started this question, right? How do you like their job? Where do you work? And what does he do? And finally, we have this. Los adjetivos que vimos en la última clase los vamos a utilizar para resolver el ejercicio número 6. Complete the conversation, select the verb, be or have in each case. So a singer, en este caso decimos has, a singer has an exciting job. This is the correct answer in this case. So I disagree, I think a singer job, estoy en desacuerdo, yo pienso que el trabajo de un Cantante es, es boring. So this is the midterm. Este es el midterm test. Do you have any question? No, I don't. No. No question. No question. No question. So let's see this. Teacher. Yes? Hi, yo tengo una... Pregunta con el ejercicio 3.10 que me da, eh, bueno, parcialmente correcto. Let me see. You say 3. 3.10. Yes. Is this one? Donde dice, bueno, el numeral 6. Yo a lo, vendor. bueno. El, ajá, yo le he colocado a vendor has easy, a easy job, pero me dice parcialmente correcto. No sé cuál sería. Ok, look at this. The correct answer is this one. A vendor has, en este caso, an. Um, an. Okay. An easy, an easy job. La okay. razón es porque el, el adjetivo easy comienza con sonido de vocal. En este caso, e. A vendor has an easy job. De acuerdo. Thank you. Entonces escribimos easy y as you can see, that is the correct answer. Any other question? Any other question? No question. No more. No, no. no more question. Okay. Then let's see. Please, right? Today is the due day. As I said before, hoy es el día, verdad, en que tenía que terminar hasta la sección tres y hacer el meter exam y tomar ese examen para que mañana, en la hora que no tenemos clase. Usted pueda trabajar en la sección número 4 y número 5. Eh, y en el fin de semana también, ¿verdad? Si le queda por ahí un ratito libre, puede trabajar en la sección 4 y 5. Y el lunes, si tiene dudas, podemos verlas, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, si aún no ha terminado el midterm, tonight. Hoy tiene que hacer. You have to do it tonight. Today is the due day. Si no, se le va a ir acumulando el trabajo, ¿verdad? se le va a ir acumulando los ejercicios, se va a ir retrasando en la plataforma. And we need that you keep working on that. Necesitamos que trabajen en eso. So, please, do it. Do it, please. Porque mañana revisan, ¿verdad? Mañana they check. They check your progress. Ellos revisan su progreso. Y ya tiene que estar arriba del 80% las tres secciones. 
y el examen también. ¿Es it okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, thanks a lot then. Y recuerde que si tiene alguna pregunta, algún problema en este ejercicio, con gusto puede escribir en el WhatsApp y nosotros le ayudamos. Ok. 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 Then let's go with tonight's class. El día de hoy vamos a ver comida que nos gusta y comida que no nos gusta. What is your favorite food? What is your favorite food? Can you tell me what is your favorite food? Hello, Mexican Beatriz. Food. Mexican food is your favorite. Do you like chili a lot? Me gusta mucho. Spicy food? Yes. Do you like spicy food? La comida picante? Yes, I like it. Okay, excellent. Let's see, René, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is um, Salvadorian. Salvadorian food, so pupusas, tamales. Yes. yes. Okay, nice. Mario, Mario Valdez, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is uh, pupusas and uh, enchiladas. Oh, the enchiladas are delicious. Nice. And Jonathan, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is Chinese. Yes. Food. Can you please repeat? La comida china. Oh, Chinese. Chinese, Chinese food. Chinese food. Chinese. Okay. Será verdad que los chinos comen de todos los animales posibles? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Ok. Bueno, imagínese un sapo asado en su plato. Delicious. No. No, she said. Okay. Los españoles comen ancas de rana. Ah, ok. Pobre rana sin Spain, güey. Y aquí sobran. Ok, now let's see. Um, do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? Yes. No yes like oh, buenas noches. Me puede regalar la clave. No puedo entrar en mi comp. So let me see. Where can I find this? Let's see. Um, ¿Quién tiene la contraseña de la a la mano la contraseña. 74. Ahorita la vamos a compartir. Ah, ok, please, do it, please. Ok, meanwhile, let's go with today's presentation. Tonight we're going to study this topic, food you like and food you don't like. Los alimentos que le gustan y los alimentos que no le gustan. So we are going to study the very light tonight. ¿Cuál es el significado del verbo like? Gustar. Gustar. Gustar, ¿verdad? So, like, food you like and food you don't like. So, let's see at this food pyramid. Sorry. In this food pyramid, we can find the following food. Okay, we can find grains, granos, okay. Los granos, grains, we can find, let's see, cereal, bread, rice, crackers, noodles, and pasta. So let's see, noodles is the same of spaghetti and pasta, rice, crackers, tostadas, cereal, cereal and bread pan. So do you like rice? Do you like rice? ¿Les gusta el arroz? You say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. do you like noodles or yes, spaghetti? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, Then, I do. No, I no, don't. No, I say. don't. Do you like bread? Yes. Yes, I do. 
Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like yes, cereal? Yes, I, I love yes, I cereal. Delicious. Delicious. Yes, I do. Okay, cereal with milk for the breakfast. Delicious. And then let's go with the other. We have grains in the base of the pyramid. Then we have fruit. Then we have fruit and also vegetables. Fruit and vegetables. Do you like fruit? Yes, yes. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, who wants to read the fruit that is here in this example? Who wants to read it? Strawberries, which is banana, the other one? Banana, orange. Orange. Banana. Apple. Apples, bananas, and? Mangoes. Mangoes. And in baseball, we have? Broccoli. Broccoli. Carrots. Carrots. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes and potatoes. Potatoes. Lettuce. Lettuce. And then we have broccoli, tomatoes, carrots, lettuce, and potatoes in vegetables. Do you like broccoli? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Nice. Es la pesadilla, la pesadilla de los niños, ¿verdad? <laughs> Kids don't like broccoli. Eh, with cream, they are delicious. Broccoli with cream and cauliflower. So delicious. That is a delicious plate. What about carrots? Do you like carrots? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, this is fruit that's Teacher, how do you say poquito? Mm, which one? Later. Can you please repeat? How do you say gustar poquito? Ah, a little. a little bit. I like broccoli a little bit. Un poco. A little bit. Poquito. Thank you. Okay, and this was the frutas y vegetales, fruits and vegetables. We had meat and other proteins. We had fish, beans, chicken, beef, eggs, and nut. So do you like fish? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. Being yeah. a bar. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Nut, do you like nut? No, yes. no, I no, I don't. Then we have dairy products, yogurt, cheese, and milk. Do you yeah. like yogurt? Yes, no. I, do. I do. What about cheese? Is it cheese delicious? Is cheese delicious? Yes. Yes, 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 yes it is. Yes. Do you how, like milk? How do you say, how do you yes, say huevo do. fritos? Oh, we say fry eggs. Fry eggs. Fry eggs. So in yes. the last part of the pyramid, we have cream, candy, cream. potato chips, oil, and butter. So peanut butter. The, yeah. Okay, butter. Delicious. Butter, delicious too. And bread. Uh, butter with bread. Delicious. But, okay. So for good health, it's a lot of grains, vegetable, and fruit. It's on dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat every little fat, oil, and sugar. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. De acuerdo a esta información, ¿de qué grupo de alimentos deberíamos comer más? Grains, fruit, vegetables, dairy, meat, and other proteins, or fat, oil, and sugar? Frutas y vegetales. Fruit and vegetables, and also grains, right? grains, granos, mm -hmm. it's important granos. for your body. Yeah. So it says, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Coma mucho, ¿verdad? De esos alimentos. Eat some dairy product, meat, and other proteins. De este grupo también debemos de comer algunas porciones, ¿verdad? Daily, diariamente. Mm -hmm. 
Il, he eat very little, eat very little fat oil and sugar. De este tenemos que comer muy poco. Muy poquito. Ah, pero ¿cómo somos los salvadoreños? ¿De qué grupo comemos más? Frituras. Del, del Frit. último, ¿verdad? No, no. No, potatoes, no, chips, no. candy, butter, oil, cream. Antes sí, ahora ya no. Ya no. Ok. Ya, no. ya se sienten los años. Ok. Y, um, dicen que después de los 25, ¿verdad? Cambia, ¿verdad? Cambia el sí, metabolismo sí. del cuerpo. Cambia ya. la pancita hacia adelante. Tiene que engordar. <ríe> el metabolismo cambia y empezamos a engordar. Bueno. Ni modo. That happened. Let's see another. Al, vamos a ver. Fat, oil, and candy. Food vocabulary. En este grupo de grasas, aceites y dulces están los siguientes. Cream, oil, butter, potato chip. Candy, cake, cookies, chocolate, cupcakes, donut, sugar, pie, muffin, soda, and pizza. Old. Uh, do you like all of them? Do you like all of them? Yes. Do you like no. No, no. Uh, muffin. Uh, muffin. Okay, I'm going to choose a volunteer and you are going to tell me which food do you like. Let's see. I'm going to choose up this time. I don't like chocolate. Oh, you don't <laughs> like chocolate. Very good. Carla de Hernandez. Carla de Hernandez, tell me which of these food do you like? Chocolate. Chocolate. It's Choco like... Chocolate and it's like um, cupcakes. Okay, we're going to use the better like. So I like chocolate. I like cupcakes. Can you please say the sentences? I like and uh, chocolate, chocolate and cupcakes. Okay, excellent, thank you. Let's see, Silvia, Silvia Menendez, can you help me, please? I like pizza and mm. soda. <laughs> I like pizza and soda, mm, delicious. It's a good combination, <laughs> pizza and soda. Then let's see, Julian Romero. I like pizza and soda. I like pizza and soda, okay. Let's see, Maria Cruz Cabrera. Uh, I like pizza and I like pie. Thanks a lot. I like pizza and I like pie, pie. apple pie. Uh, Karen Jimenez. I like chocolate, I like chocolate. I like chocolate. Ok, chocolate. Nice. Ahora vamos a ver algunos que no nos gustan, algunos alimentos que no nos gustan. So we are going to use I don't. I don't like. Let's start with Mario Valdez. ¿Hay algún alimento de esos que no le guste? You say I don't like. I don't like uh, donut and potato chip. I don't like donuts and potato chips. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go with Beatriz Molina. I don't like. Butter. I don't like butter. I don't like butter, okay. No le gusta la mantequilla. And René, which of this food you don't like? And you say, I don't like. Don't like chocolate. Okay, I don't like chocolate. Let's go with the next group of food. This is fat, oil, and candy. Gracias, aceite y dulces. So don't eat too much of this food. No coma mucho de esta comida. It's bad for your body. So meat and other protein. We have beef, 
eggs, fish, chickens, nut, beans, peanut butter, delicious, turkey, bacon, ham, and let's see, I'm waiting for this. Ham, ham is the last one. So beef, carne de res, eggs, huevos, fish, chicken, yes. nuts. What is nuts? Nuts? Nueces. Nueces. Eh, peanut butter, crema Mantequilla de... Mantequilla de maní. Mantequilla de maní. Beans? Frijoles. Frijoles. Frijoles, and look at these beans. Está en el grupo de proteínas. Protein. Turkey. Pavo. Do you like turkey for Christmas? For Christmas? Ya está pavo. engordando el pavo para Navidad. Exactly. <laughs> and bacon. Tocino. Delicious too. This is delicious. Ham. Do you like ham? Cerdo. What is ham? Karen say, I only like fish. De todo este grupo, solo le gusta el pescado. So let's start with Marvin Romero. Tell me, I like. ¿Qué alimentos de estos le gustan? And you say, I like. I like fish. I like fish. Excellent. Scarlett de la O. Which food do you like? Scarlett. No, Scarlett. Bueno, está viendo el partido. Let's go with Teodoro then. Teodoro, can you help me, please? I like fish. I like fish. Excellent. Jamilet Torres. I like. I like bacon. I like bacon, excellent. I like bacon. And let's go with Maria Sanchez. I like fish. I like fish, okay. Do you like eggs? Let's see, yes, I, I like. like. Yes, I like, I like eggs. Chicken, do you like chicken? Yes, I like. Yes, I like chicken. Okay, uh, chicken soap. Chicken soap. Vagina, India soap. No, you don't like no, that? No, I don't like. <laughs> okay. Then let's go with the next, the next vocabulary. So we have fruit. Okay. Now, daily product is the next one. Daily products. Y daily products son los productos que se derivan de la leche, ¿verdad? De la leche de las vacas. And we have this milk, yogurt, cheese, ice cream, cottage cheese, cheddar cheese, white cream, cord cheese, condensed milk. So we have meal, yogurt, eh, queso, sorbete, queso cottage, queso cheddar, cream, crema, curry cheese, requesón, and condensed milk. Y leche condensada. Condensed milk. So let's see, which of these food do you like? Do you like cheese, for example? Yes, I yes, like. I like. Uh, what about ice cream? Do you like ice cream? Mm -hmm. I yes, yes. I, I like ice cream. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, what is like. what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Pistacho. Okay, pistacho. Any other? What do you say, mamey? Yes. <laughs> The coffee. Mame in English. It's a favor and an ice cream. 
is your favorite fruit, mamey? Yeah. I, I yes. sorbet de mamey. Yes. yes. Really? Excellent. Yeah. In Boston. Ah, okay. okay. I haven't tasted yet. Okay. Mamey is the same, it's the same. It doesn't change the name, Mamey. Mamey, we can say Mamey okay. in English Thank too. You. Thank you. So, Thank you. okay. Thank you for your question. Let's see the next one. Fruit. We have bananas, mangoes, apples, strawberries, oranges, cherry, coconut, grape, tangerine, lemon, kiwi, melon, watermelon, peach, pear, and pineapple. What is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is coconut. I like pineapple. You like so pineapple? I don't like watermelon. You don't like watermelon. So I'm going to ask questions. So Marvin Romero. I like kiwi. Kiwi, okay. Mario Valdez. My favorite food is watermelon and lemon. Watermelon and lemon. Susana, I like. Susana Guardado, I like. Let's go with, let me see. Sorry, teacher, sorry. I, yeah. I My favorite fruit is orange. Orange, okay, excellent. Antonio Estrada, I like. William, I like. I like watermelon. I like watermelon. Carla de Hernandez. I like mangoes and lemon. Mangoes and lemon. Hay alguna fruta que no les guste a alguien de las que están acá? Watermelon. Watermelon. Why not? Watermelon is delicious. No, I don't, not, no. I don't like <laughs> melon. I don't melon. like melon. Okay. I don't like melon too, because it made me sick. <laughs> so I don't like it. Let's go with it. Nice. Apple. Oh, you don't like apples. It's a new word here. Hay alguna palabra que no conozca en este grupo de elementos, fruit. Like tangerine, for example. What is the meaning of this tangerine? Mandarina. Yes, what's the meaning of strawberries? Fresa. Fresa. What's the meaning of peach? Melocotón. What's the meaning of cherry? Cereza. 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 Okay. What's the meaning of grapes? Uvas. 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 Okay. ¿Se comen las 12 uvas para Navidad? Todo yeah. el cajo. Todo el... <risa> Toda la libra de uvas. Pero solo son 12, por eso no se le cumplen los deseos, ya ves. Por eso no pido deseo. <risa> They are 12. Then after fruits, we have vegetables. We have broccoli, carrots, tomatoes, lettuce, potatoes, cabbage. Peppers, spinach, onions, garlic, radish, mushrooms, pumpkins, eggplants, cucumber, and avocado. So, Scarlett, it's okay. Va de camino a casa. That's why she didn't answer. Esa es la razón por la que no respondió. Okay, Scarlett, no problem. Thanks a lot. So, let's see. It's a new word here for you. What's the meaning of radish, for example? 
Rabano. Rabano, yes. Mushrooms. Eh, hongos. Eh, hongos. Hongos. Eh, Lerios. Eggplant. Eggplant. Huevos. Eggplant. No. No. It's purple. Berenjena. Berenjena. Yes. Berenjena. What about this one? Avocado. 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 Do you like avocados? Yes, I like Yes. Yes, okay. I do. <laughs> okay. Yes, I do. Uh, what about cabbage? Taxio. Natural avocado. Ah, it has a lot of potassium. Cabbage. Uh, repollo. Repollo. Peppers. Pimiento. Pimientos. Pimientos. And garlics. Ajos. Ajos. Do you like garlics? Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Yes, I like. I don't like garlic. Onions. Onions. Yes, like. Onions. Onions. Yes, like. Onions. Yes, like. Onions. Okay, let's start with Beatriz. ¿Cuáles vegetales le gustan? And you say, I like. I like avocado. Excellent. I like avocado. Vamos a decir una y una. Una que le guste y uno que no. Ok. So, I don't like. I don't like. Peppers. Peppers. You don't like peppers. Peppers. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Ok. Let's go with Alejandro. Alejandro Contreras. Uh, good night, teacher. Uh, I like garlic. Uh, uh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo puedo decir que no me gusta? I don't like uh, cucumber. I don't like cucumbers. No le gustan los pepinos. Nice. Karen Jiménez. I like broccoli. I don't no like. I don't, I don't like mushroom. Okay, excellent. Carla de Hernandez, please. I like avocado. And I don't, I don't like, like um, radish. Radish. Let's see, Gladys Escobar. En Emilio Jiménez. Ah, <risa> Casi no he ido por la lluvia. Ah, ok. Bueno, está lloviendo. I like. I like. I like. I like. I don't like. I don't like. Broccoli. Thank you. Then let's go with Jaime Reyes. I like uh, carrot and don't like onion. Things are not grady. In avocado, don't, I don't like peanuts. I like avocados and I don't like uh, spinach. Spinach. I don't like spinach. spinach. Okay. Do you remember Popeye el Marino? Yeah. De esa caricatura? Yes. ¿Cuál de estos vegetales era el que le daba el poder? Spinach. 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 Then let's go with these grains. En los granos tenemos bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta, oat, wheat, soybean, lentil, tea, and barley. So look at them. New vocabulary in this part. 
Must be crackers. Crackers, los, los tadas o galletas. O galletas. Wet. Croquetas, crackers. Ok, crackers, muy bien. Croquetas o tostadas. And what about, what's the meaning of wheat? How do you, how do you say in Spanish, parley? Carne. Bread. Parley. Oh, barley, es cebada. Barley, okay. cebada. Any other new work? Eh, ¿Verdad que with, with es trigo, verdad? Yes. With es trigo. Out. Oh. A, avena. This is avena. Oh, okay. This is trigo. Soy bien. No, no. Soya. 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 Lentil, lentejas. What about lentejas. pea? What about pea? What are pea? Pea. Es duras. No, 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 no. Guisante. Guisante, muy bien. Guisantes. Son una especie de frijoles, ¿verdad? Pea. So, let's see this. Per like. This is the verb we have been practicing. I like this time. Ice cream. Do you In, like cake? So look at this, to make a sentence, we are going to use a subject, light and the food. So I like ice cream. I like meat. I like chicken. Si quiero decir que un alimento no me gusta, then I use this. I don't like. I don't like tomatoes. I don't like pizza. And if I want to ask a question, I use, do you like? Do you like cake? Then I have to answer, yes, I do. No, I don't. Let's see, for example, Beatriz Molina, do you like cake? Uh, yes, I do. Thanks a lot. Yes, I do. Let's see. Yes, I, yes, I like. Yes, I like. Okay. Mario Valdez, do you like cake? Oh, I don't like. Oh, you don't like it. Marvin Romero, do you like cake? Yes, I do. Okay. Maria Cruz Cabrera, do you like cake? No, I don't. Karen Jimenez, do you like cake? No, I don't. Johnny, do you like cake? Yes, I like. Okay. Yes, I like cake. Or yes, I do. I like cake. And the next one, do you like onions? Emilio Jimenez, do you like onions? Do you like onions? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Jaime Reyes, do you like onions? No, I don't. Let's see. Jonathan, do you like onions? Yes, I do. Alejandro Contreras, do you like onions? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, excellent. Then let's see the next thing here. En las terceras personas vamos a agregarle una S al verbo. She likes. She likes, she likes. milk. He likes. likes apples. Apple. It likes bananas. bananas. Aquí estamos hablando de un animal. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué animalito le gustan las bananas? Which is the animal? The monkey. A monkey, Mango. right? So, a monkey likes bananas. Or it likes bananas. Third person, we add S to the verb likes. En la tercera persona le vamos a agregar la S al verbo like. She likes okay. milk. He likes apple. It likes bananas. Like bananas. En tercera persona, en lugar de decir don't, vamos a decir doesn't. 
doesn't. She, she doesn't like carrot. He doesn't like chocolate. He doesn't like bread. 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 Y la pregunta no va a ser tú, va a ser das. Does she like oranges? Does, does she, she like, like oranges? oranges? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't in this case. So, who wants to okay. read these examples? ¿Quién quiere leer estos ejemplos, please? Me. Hi. Uh, who say me? Say me, and, say me in your name, please. Thank you, Maria. Okay. And she likes milk. He likes apples. He eats like bananas. Thanks a lot. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you. The next one. Who wants to read these other examples? She doesn't like carrots, he doesn't like chocolate, he doesn't like bread. Thanks a lot, very good job. In the question and the answer. Does she like orange? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't, very excellent, good. excellent. Thank you, very good job. Then let's see, I have this conversation practice for you. And the first question is, do you like fish? Susana Guardado, do you like fish? Yes, I like. Okay, yes, I like fish or yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, Silvia Menendez, do you like fish? Yes, I like fish. Carla de Hernandez, do you like fish? Yes, I do. Emilio Jiménez, do you like fish? Yes, I do. Johnny Guevara, le toca leer la siguiente pregunta y escoja uno de sus compañeros para que la responda, please. Do you like pusas? Silvia Méndez. Me? Yes. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Le toca hacer la siguiente pregunta. ¿A quién? Do you like... No, veo nada. <laughs> ya. Do you like pictures? Um, William Villalta. Yes, I do. Le toca leer la pregunta, William. ¿A quién? Eh, Carla de Hernández, do you like mangoes? Yes, I do. Le toca hacer la siguiente pregunta. Usted elige a quién. A Beatriz, do you like cake? Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I like cake. Le toca hacer la siguiente pregunta. Read the next question and choose a classmate, please. Uh, Jonathan Serpas, do you like beef? Yes, I do. Okay, Jonathan, read the first one and choose a classmate, please. Susana Guardado, do you like fish? <laughs> yes, I like fish. Next, next question and choose a classmate. Uh, okay. Um, um, Jaime Reyes. Uh, do you like pitch? Yes, I do. Jaime, la siguiente pregunta y escoja un compañero. Um, Emilio. Do you, do you like mangoes? Yes, I do. Next question and choose a classmate. Karen Jimenez. Do you like fish? Yes, I do. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you, excellent practice. So do you have any question about tonight's class? 
Oh, I have a question here. Tengo una pregunta acá en el chat. Give me a second. Teacher, en el negativo no se le agrega ese al verbo. No, the answer is no. Look at this. A cabinet. This is the third person in negative. So she doesn't like carrot. No le agregamos una S acá al verbo porque el auxiliar está en tercera persona. En lugar de do, está das, que es la tercera persona. She doesn't. Entonces el verbo va normal, en infinitivo, sin, sin tercera persona. Esa es la razón porque el auxiliar absorbe ¿verdad? la tercera persona. Digámoslo así, ¿verdad? La, el auxiliar está en tercera persona. Esa es la razón. Ok. Any question, teacher? You have a question? Tell me, what is your question? How, how do you say in English sopa de pollo? Chicken soap. Chicken soap. Con el chicken soap. No, without apostrophe. Just chicken soap. Chicken. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What is this in the WhatsApp? Oh, lo siento, me exalté. Ha, okay, okay, René. Don't worry. That happened. Eso sucede. Final soccer. Okay, no more questions. Any other question? Eh, Karen Jiménez dice ganamos, ¿de verdad? No, teacher. ¿Terminó el partido? Win, win, yes. final. We won, yes. Y terminó 1 a 0. 1 a 0. 1 a 0, ok. Los, yes. primeros, los primeros tres puntos de la selección. Ok, démonos un abrazo virtual. Felicidades por el triunfo. <laughs> ok, bueno, go entonces... selecta. <laughs> go selecta, go. And then, and de esa manera, habla, podemos hablar ¿verdad? de los alimentos que nos gustan y de los alimentos que no nos gustan utilizando el verbo like. Eh, Julián Moreno, aboqueiro. Say the sentence. ¿Me gustan o no me gustan? I like aboqueiro. Ok. Lerius, Mario Valdés, Lerius. I don't like Lerius. Ok, I don't like Lerius. Bueno, no le gusta la lechuga. William Villalta. Y Tomeiro. Tomeiros. A ver el partido, el teacher. <laughs> Va a tocar ver el resumen Hola. nada más. Hello. Bueno, quedó ahí congelada la imagen de William. Silvia Menéndez. Oteiros. <risa> ya había pregrabada la clase. <risa> Yo creo que se le trevo el inter. Uh, hello, can you listen me? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Hello, teacher. Está bien de la, de la final, <risa> ma teacher. Voy a ver las... Jonathan fue teacher que estaba hablando. <risa> sí, lo alcancé a escuchar. No, it was the internet. It was the internet connection. Eh, fui a ver el resumen, la repetición del gol. <risa> ok, William, tomatoes. I like tomatoes or I don't like tomatoes? Yes, I like tomatoes. Uh, Silvia Menéndez, potatoes. Yes, I like what there is. Okay. When I like and I don't like, and the question is, do you like? Do you like mangoes? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Bueno, eh, esta es la última clase de la semana. Let's say it's Thursday. Tomorrow, finally, is Friday. Mañana es viernes, ¿verdad? Eh, ya viene el fin de semana. Entonces, no se les olvide, por favor, completar la sección 1, 2 y 3 y hacer el examen. Please. 
Okay. Don't forget about that. It's important that you complete the section and also that you take the meter. Congratulations for the one who has already finished. Felicitaciones a los que ya terminaron. Ay, el lunes van a ver que todos lo han alcanzado. Yes. Yes, teacher. El lunes todos vamos a estar en la sección número 5 a punto de hacer el examen final. Ok. Yeah. <risa> bueno, entonces en el fin de semana si les queda un tiempo libre, ¿verdad? Que casi es imposible por sus ocupaciones, pero try, try it hard, please. Intentémoslo, ¿verdad? Resolvamos esos ejercicios. Please, si tienen alguna duda, por favor escriban en el WhatsApp. Si durante el fin de semana no se le puede solventar, el día lunes la discutimos en clase. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Es okay. clear? Ok, teacher. Okay, Thanks, teacher. teacher. Ok. Goodbye. Bueno. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy your weekend. Good night. El domingo ir a ver la selecta. Celebration. Bueno. Champion. Ya apáguenos a todos y conéctenos. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> See you. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Se acaba la clase y se les va el sueño, ¿verdad? <risa> bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, sleep well. See you on Monday. Take care. Bye, Silvia. Bye. <laughs> bye, teacher. Bye, bye, Beatriz. Bye, bye, Silvia. Good night. Bye, teacher. Teacher, ¿le puedo hacer una pregunta? Dígame, Silvia. Es que me da algo de pena preguntar porque creo que es algo tonto lo que le voy a preguntar. No es, se preocupe yeah. que no hay pregunta que sea así, ¿verdad? Dígame. <laughs> Por ejemplo, ¿en qué se basa o cómo se hace para entender el orden de las palabras, por ejemplo, acaba de decir usted